Well, good Monday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here with... And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work, and I hope you tune in tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, for our live stream, because, you know, the last couple of ones we've had, they've been getting really live. I, I went off in front. I'm sorry. I went off. I blocked some people. I, I put some people on timeout, you know, because I was sick and tired of people talking about my quarterback. I, I'm tired of it. Life is too damn short to put up with bull jive. Seriously, no more bull jive is going to be accepted. So if you come into my channel and act fool, we're going to get you right on out of there. So the Cowboys, our rookies, start reporting tomorrow. Although the NFL and the NFLPA don't exactly have a complete agreement. You were saying they're meeting today at 2 o'clock. So they're meeting right now as we speak on exactly how they're going to try and protect the players and keep everybody safe and everything. We're hearing that the Raiders, the Raiders are talking about not having any fans in their new stadium. Well, which, they said at least it won't be for preseason if they have preseason. If they, right, yeah. So there's that. Um, and Mark Davis, their owner, uh, says that fans can't be there. He won't be there either. And I'm kind of sitting here thinking about this, though. The Rams and the... Uh, the Raiders having these new stadiums and stuff, it's kind of like maybe what you should do is just not have fans yet until you can really open it up and have a grand opening for everybody. I mean, is that stupid? You know, it's kind of like, oh yeah, we're going to have, you know, 20,000 fans, but eh. but hey, it's not my problem. I, I don't know, but it's beginning to look more and more like we're not going to be seeing fans and having tailgates and stuff like that. Well, so. Tailgates definitely not. You always are not doing that. Yeah, so we'll we'll just do like our tailgate cookouts. What we'll do is we'll just cook at my house on game days. And, you know, show yeah, them. have a couple people over. Yeah, that's it. yeah, just a couple people and, and a couple people with masks, and we'll be outside. But um, the Cowboys are getting to work. Um, rookie Bradley Ain has uh, now signed his rookie deal, four-year contract. So they're beginning the process of getting that together. Uh-oh, there's, there's nobody in the mailman. <laughs> the mailman is in his truck. There we go. Uh, looks like he got a package. I don't know. Did you order something? I didn't order anything. Probably the wife ordered Probably something. Missed, yeah. um, but bright, uh, defensive end, Bradley Ain, I hope I said his last name right, has signed his four-year deal, and the players and stuff are going to start getting these things together. You'll see C.D. Lamb and everybody else, and, and Gallimore and stuff, you know, get these things done. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how does that affect the salary cap? Well, the reality is, is football salaries are all slotted now. It's not like the days of back when Sam Bradford had that, like, $56 million rookie deal and stuff that they negotiated. Basically, where you're picked is what you're getting paid, so it's no real negotiations on it. So already baked into that $11.4 million that we have in salary cap space was the money that you're going to be paying that these rookies and stuff, so it doesn't change our number. We still have $11.4 million. Currently, unless the NFL ends up changing uh, the salary cap, which they want to do because the NFL wants to hold on to that money. They keep saying, players, let me hold something. Can, can I hold something? Yeah, players are like, no, you can't can so that's where we are right now with the cowboys we'll see you tonight with our live stream uh what you got coming up on your channel oh, man. What? nothing i don't have anything to get like playing. i thought you were talking about the baseball game tonight no. i'm not doing anything at the moment yeah. I, I don't have anything planned you don't have anything planned but so but but it might be a surprise shit might just pop up if i if i, if I think of something right now i don't have anything well, I'm hoping that we end up having some football to start talking about here. Uh, come next week, training camp will start being open, but it won't be like practice. It'll be weightlifting, yeah, weightlifting and conditioning, getting people in shape to uh, start playing, which will probably be about 21 days if the NFL PA gets. Oh, and it looks like the NFL is listening to the players and trying to split the difference as far as preseason goes because now I'm hearing that it may end up being just one preseason game. Which brings me to a great question here. 
okay. I, we're, we're, I know we're home. If you want to get out, you can get out. But I'm going to sit here for a minute. It's 98 degrees outside, yeah, so I, I ain't in a rush to open good. up the door. I could have said those good. So here's the question I have. If there's one preseason game. See, preseason is not really for veterans. You think about Aaron Rodgers last year didn't play in preseason. Carson Wentz, they're scared to death to play that guy. You know, they had him in bubble wrap, so he didn't play in preseason. And Dak Prescott... He only played a few series here and there. Zeke Elliott, I don't think Zeke has ever played in preseason. No, he did. He played a series. Um, um, not not recently, but he played at least one. Maybe his season. rookie year? Yeah, he played at least one half. Uh, I mean, seriously. You know, so most veterans don't even play in preseason. Are preseason games necessary? That's the bigger question. If your regular starters don't play, you know, the first game is, you know, you might get uh, one series out of your starters. Second game, you get, like, maybe a half. Third game, you might get, you know, a half and, you know, into the third quarter. Fourth game is like a waste. So the question is, is do they really need to have the preseason games? Do you want to risk uh, risk losing, you know, let's say you get five, ten guys that get coronavirus in a preseason game. Do you want to risk that for your season? I don't know. But I guess they'll get it figured out. So, anyway... I'm going to go in here and take a shower because you can see I'm dirty from grouting that tile. And I'm probably stinky, too. That's a package. My mailman's got a package. That, that's for Tracy. Oh, you know what? That might be the shower rod. I forgot. I ordered the shower rod for the, the job. Okay, that, that could be. And that's a long, skinny box. This is a 17-inch down rod. But that's not the shower head. And it is an Amazon package. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.